Eight News is taking action tonight as new pictures and videos show disturbing conditions at the Invigo dog breeding facility in Cumberland County. We have been digging into claims of animal mistreatment there for years. This past fall, they were cited for animal welfare violations. And now, 8 News reporter Ben Dennis is learning inspectors found similar issues months before that. He's live in our digital center tonight with more. Ben. Hey there, Eric. We're getting another close look into the Cumberland County dog breeding facility from last summer. Federal investigators captured the photos and videos we're about to show you, never before seen by the public. These disturbing images further show the living conditions for the dogs there while state lawmakers get closer to preventing some of these problems. Dogs with decaying teeth. Puppies housed in excessive heat. How is this even possible that this has been allowed to go on in our state? Jarring video and photos taken during a USDA inspection last July detail the conditions of hundreds of beagles at the Invigo breeding facility in Cumberland. I was particularly heartbroken by the mother dog so desperately trying to get to the kibble in the food container that had been turned around so that she could see it and she could smell it but she could not eat it. That's Daphna Nakminovich, senior vice president of PETA's cruelty investigations. <laughs> Eight News previously showed you their undercover investigation there and the results of an October inspection detailing similar problems. These new images from that July inspection unearthed by Animal Welfare Group Stop Animal Exploitation Now. Here's Michael Budke. This is quite easily one of the worst facilities for which I have ever seen information. The USDA found puppies in fecal matter, food with worms in it, feces piling up, and hundreds of puppies and dogs kept in heat for hours, up to 92 degrees in some places. After this inspection was done, an Invigo spokesperson said they're trying to reduce the dog population through adoption and donating them for academic research. Plus, they're giving veterinary exams and upgrading cleaning. Budkey won't budge. He says, close up shop. When the violations are so numerous and so egregious, we believe that they simply should not be allowed to have animals in their possession. And tonight, a spokesperson for Invigo says it takes time for upgrades to be implemented, and they're also focusing on the five bills that just passed the General Assembly should they get the governor's signature. So, what would breeders like Invigo be required to do under these laws? Visit WRIC.com. In the Digital Center, Ben Dennis, 8 News.